In this video, I'll show you how to set a default checkout billing country in WooCommerce without touching a single line of code. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. Okay, so here we are on our test site and by default, WooCommerce doesn't give you an option to set the default state and also the default country as well. So I'm going to show you how you can achieve this for free and without touching a single line of code. Okay, so the first step is to head over to WeSuite.com. Go ahead and download and install the all-in-one checkout plugin for WooCommerce, it's free. Once you've done so, let's head back over to our dashboard. Okay, so now the second step would be to go ahead and upload a plugin in which you just downloaded. So you wanna to navigate to plugins, add new, go ahead and upload the plugin in which you've just downloaded. Once you've done so, you'll see this AIO checkout menu here for all-in-one checkout. Go ahead and click on this. And now the third step is to create a new checkout layout. So you'll go ahead and click create new checkout. I've already created one, so I'm gonna go ahead and edit this one here. So now we've got a few default fields and sections. So we've got our billing section, our shipping section, and our payment section. And we can customize all the individual sections. But for this particular video, we're gonna focus on setting a default country. So in our billing section here, so we'll click on this um, country slash region. And then here we've got an option which says default country. So we can say, let's see, Australia, okay. And then we'll just go ahead and hit save changes. Okay, and now when we go to checkout, so I'm gonna save this page here. Since I'm already logged in and I've got my billing information saved to the system, it's gonna automatically populate the billing fields with my default um, billing information. So, so I'm gonna open up a new tab in incognito. And now when we scroll down to the billing section here, you can see our default country is Australian. And this is perfect if you only sell to a specific country or if you sell worldwide, but the majority of your sales come from um, America or wherever it is, for example. You can set the default um, state and the default country, and this just helps speed up the checkout process for your customers. Okay, so that's the add a default billing country to your WooCommerce checkout. So now let's head back over to our dashboard and have a look at a few other customization options in which we've got. Okay, so here in our um, checkout page, so we've got a few options. One, we can just disable the billing section if you wanted. We can go ahead and add new fields to the billing section. Okay, so we can add various fields here just by dragging and dropping it onto the canvas, just like this. We can remove a field. We can set a field to hidden. We can customize the width of each field. For example, if we click settings here, go appearance, we can change it to full width off and also a third. Okay, let's change this back to full width. And if you wanted to take it a step further as well, you can actually turn your single page checkout into a multi-step checkout just by clicking this plus icon here. And we can go ahead and disable those steps. Okay, so that's just a few things in which you can do with the all-in-one checkout plugin. And that's how you set a default billing country in WooCommerce in just a few simple steps. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe for more videos like this. And if you've got any questions, leave it in the comment box below or reach out to support and we'll get back to you as soon as possible.